Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Dale, this channel's DLJ from PA. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. Today is one of my most favorite videos to do ever. Purses are probably my absolute favorite item in the world. <laughs> I just have a total purse addiction. And I would probably sell even more purses, except the temptation to keep them is too big. They also cost more and take up more room than what you see a lot of my videos focus on, which is jewelry. These are a little bit more difficult to ship as well. Jewelry is very easy to ship. So that's why I've gravitated more towards jewelry, but deep down, purses have my heart. <laughs> so yes, I picked up two thread up boxes. This one is a coach handbag lot from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, which is an hour away from me. And then the bottom one is name brand handbags from Georgia. So I'm super excited to dig in. I'm going to do both of these with you today in one video. And then I'll also share maybe some tips about how I identify the purses so that I can help you out in identifying purses that you might see in thrift stores or online. If you're not subscribed, I would super duper appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button, hit the alert button so you're notified when I post new content and hit the thumbs up. Which one should we do first? Coach, name brand, coach, name brand, coach, name brand. We're just gonna do the coach first. It's on top. <laughs> My dogs might pop in too, they're here. Okay, so here is our coach box. Maggie's curious too. Or, you know, this does cost $90, five purses, 18 bucks a piece. Stealing deals since 2009. Gold digging since 2009. I like their little stickers. I'm so excited to copy. I love purses and I haven't done one of these in a long time. Come on! I tried to reuse this, but it wasn't cooperating. All right, here we go, sneak peek. All right. This video is going to be a little embarrassing because you're going to see just how much I do not know about authenticating purses. <laughs> I've been excited for no reason. This first one, here's what we have. And I guess that's the way it's supposed to look. I thought that it was like ruined. <laughs> Like these just didn't look like nice, but it's just a small, um, it's like a, a carry bag because it doesn't have a long strap. Um, pretty sure this is a fake coach because there is no serial number on this. Fun fact, not all coach bags have serial numbers on the Creed. I'm including a link in the description below that seemed to have the best information on authenticating a coach handbag. Does that mean it's fake or is it just older? Let me, let me do a little more digging. We do have this tag here. I don't have my nails done, so that's why I decided to do purses instead of jewelry. <laughs> okay, um, it says, Fabrique in Vietnam. Yeah, made in Vietnam. Um, I mean, this fabric says coach on the inside. I don't know if you can see any of that. Uh, and you, I know you can see that it's a little dirty. Um, yeah, this pocket, let's see if I can show you that. You see that the pocket says coach. Um, but yeah, the fact that the emblem does not have any serial number is very suspicious. No, it isn't, Dale. I mean, it does appear to be in um, just, it, it could be vintage. I mean, it's, it is in like vintage condition. So with this purse, let's see what I found out. 
Thank goodness for Google Lens because with a simple search of the image I took, I was able to determine what type of bag it was and it sold very quickly on eBay for $59.99. Next, we have another blue. I think that I got a blue coach lot. So this one has a double strap. It looks like it's, it is semi adjustable and has these tassels, a, a zipper on the outside. There's the coach logo on the front. Let's see what this one looks like on the inside. Yes. Okay. So see here is the label with the serial number as it should be and the good news is that it does not start with an f which means it's not a factory purse so typically i believe that they have a higher resale value if they are not factory purses um it does have some scratching on the outside but not terrible and then i usually look at the corners because they sometimes show signs of wear. Yeah, like that one, the, the color is fading from the corner. See that? It's actually, I think it's more noticeable on the camera than, um, than in person. But overall, I mean, it's a dark interior, so you don't see staining or um, dirt as much. But if I pull it completely inside out, it, it looks to be in decent condition. I'm so, like, I'm so nervous now. Like, is this a fake too? So let's take a look at what I found out in researching this purse. What I discovered is that I shouldn't be so suspicious of all of these bags being fake. This one indeed is an authentic coach and I have it listed for $49.99. I'm so confused. Like I'm just, I'm just confused. These aren't the typical coach. Like they just don't feel like as good a quality. This one is just a, um, like a canvas bag, but even like the straps are just like these cheapy canvas straps. Um, there is a coach tag and there's the inside coach mark, um, but this does not have any kind of serial number tag. Um, and this is removable from the inside, which then has like no, it's just a plain top. Here's what the outside of the bag looks like. Um, but this just does not feel like coach quality. So once again, let's see what I found out in doing research. What I've determined is that I have a lot to learn about coach. This is also an authentic bag. It is a weekender travel bag and the inside pouch, you can actually store the big pouch, the big purse inside of, and this bag also sold very fast on eBay for $45. Here we have a tiny little wristlet for a cell phone. I don't know if my current cell phone would fit in there or if it's too big. There's the coach on the bottom there. So I'm a little disappointed that this would be considered one of my five items. So Mechanicsburg, you're doing me dirty here. <laughs> And yes, this is my fifth item. It's not blue. Um, Maggie. <laughs> it is this metallic silver. Yeah, I guess that's silver. I couldn't tell if it was like gold. No, I think it's silver. Um, it does have the script coach on the outside. Okay, this one is a factory bag. You see the last part of the numbers starts with an F. 
but indicates that it's factory. Um, I, I mean, I have sold factory bags for a decent price as well. Um, and this one seems to be in pretty good condition. The inside is just plain and you can see there that it uh, doesn't have any significant wearing or anything. Let's take a look at those corners like we did on the other purses. So you can see that is always the spot that shows wear at first along with the handle. And you can see that it looks like some of the color is rubbing off. On that one. So let's see what we found out in looking at this purse. This also appears to be authentic and I have it listed for $59. I'm not impressed at all with this coach lot. It turns out what I shouldn't be impressed with is my knowledge of coach purses. But I know that these rescue boxes are a gamble. So let's hope that when we roll the dice and got a second box and it's just a name brand box, not coach, that we have a little bit of better luck. I'm trying to keep my excitement up. Okay, same deal with the tissue paper. Okay, these are, Maggie, <laughs> are protected with shipping supplies. So that's nice. And here's our first look. Stop. Our first purse is a Michael Kors. Has this big old lock on the front. So it's a tan, like, crocodile print or I don't know what kind of print do you what would you call that and it has this shoulder short shoulder strap as well as these carry handles which do seem to be showing a little bit of wear at the tops especially let's see how the inside looks there is a strap to hook your keys it has a zippered pocket on that side and two open pockets on the other. Um, there is a little bit of dirt staining on the bottom, but I have found that when you can flip the inside of the bags out like this, if you're really careful, you can get them really clean. And here's the Michael Kors tag on the inside. And then I believe, do these have an identification? There's nothing on the other side of that tag. So let's take a look at what I was able to find out in researching this bag. Thanks again to Google Lens. I was able to identify this as the Michael Kors Hamilton East West bag in a crocodile print. And I have it listed for $49.99 on eBay and Poshmark. Next, this is a Dooney and Burke. Has a little bit of a stain there that I would hope could come out. Um, very short shoulder strap in this zebra print. Um, pretty dirty or significant wear at the corners, but nothing terrible. There's no tears or anything. And it has a red interior. Here's the tag. Some of these black have like brown showing through. Can you see that? I don't know if that's on purpose. So this has another one of those cords for your keys, which is nice. Um, here is what Dooney and Burke tags look like. And I was concerned my one said made in China, but apparently that is true. And they do have a serial number on them. So that should make researching this particular bag a little easier. So let's see what we found. I still had my doubts on the authenticity of this bag, but I did find one similar sold comp on eBay for $44.95. And here's 
here is our next bag. It's interesting, very different. Um, and this is actually a Kate Spade. I'm not familiar with, usually I can tell Kate Spades. I love Kate Spade bags. So I don't know, again, if this is an older style, um, but this does open easily and it is magnetic. So it closes, um, like it kind of snaps to a close. And it has the polka dotted interior. It's in pretty good condition. Two open pockets and a zipper pocket. So let's take a look. Seems to be in pretty good condition. I don't see significant issues. There's another Kate Spade tag. So let's see what we can find out about this bag. I was able to find this purse and it recently sold for $220 and is currently listed for $188. So I have mine listed for $149.99. Next, we have a Kate Spade wallet in bright pink. And it looks to be in decent condition on the outside. Ooh, it has an orange interior. What does it say? It has like writing on the lining. But it does say Kate Spade there has a lot of spots for cards and then the center zipper for um, money. And there is a tag in there which says S363. So let's see if that gives us any indication on the style name of this wallet. I was not able to find this exact style. So I have it listed as rare and $49.99. And our last purse is this little cutie. It is a Michael Kors with a big tassel here. There's Michael Kors on the zipper. It's a crossbody style. And it is little. Um, Oops, here is the Michael Kors tag on the inside. It's like a beige kind of color. Uh, one zipper pocket, two, or one big open pocket. And the, the interior does look to be in pretty good condition. So this might be the best purse out of the entire lot. Maybe I saved the best for last. Let's see what we find out about this purse. Because I was so wrong about all of the other purses, this one is not going to be my best bag. I did see that one recently sold for $100, but it was brand new with tags. And unfortunately, the stain on the front of this purse, I haven't been able to remove. So I think I'll be lucky to sell this for $50 at the most. I have to say, I am pretty disappointed. And this is, I think, the first time that I've been disappointed by a thread up purse haul. Maybe though, after doing research, I'm feeling better. So let's film. So that was a great surprise. The fact that I was very disappointed in these boxes, but the resale values are enough that I will definitely make my money back. So now I'm happy. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> That's my purse haul from ThreadUp. Two rescue boxes, one coach, one designer bag. What are your thoughts? Tell me if you see something that you'd like. You can always reach out to me at dljfrompa at gmail.com. Anything else?